What's up folks, my name is Felix. Welcome back to the second video of today where we again will talk about B2 Network, a Bitcoin Layer 2 solution which is EVM compatible and does something similar to the Manta New Paradigm campaign. But we won't talk about it in this video. I already talked about it in today's first video. In this one, we are going to talk more extensively about their current ongoing testnet campaign where you can farm points. And we already know now how important those points are for future airdrops, especially all those social tasks. And of course, we don't want to fade them. We want to be ahead of the curve. And most people are not yet paying attention to this Bitcoin layer 2 narrative, which will be quite big, especially once their so-called bus campaign is running and all people will jump on the train. I will remind you of this video because if you're watching this right now, you are pretty, pretty early. So let's dive right into it. What we want to do here is pretty simple. We just want to do some testnet tasks. So no real capital involved. You just have to do some social connections. So basically connect Discord, Twitter and other kind of stuff and do some bridging. And that's already it. So what you need to have to complete all those tasks are a MetaMask wallet, which every one of you should already have. And also a Bitcoin wallet, which in my opinion, Uniset or OKX are the best choices. In this tutorial, we are doing everything with Uniset. And the first thing you want to do once you install your wallet, save your seed phrase and set everything up, you want to open the extension, go to settings and make sure you are on testnet. So you click on network and choose the testnet. Then we want to get some testnet Bitcoin because we need them to do all those bridge transactions and also pay the transaction fees. The most popular page currently is Bitcoin Testnet Faucet, but I can't recommend this one. Maybe it works for you. It doesn't really for me and you don't get that much funds, but I want to still show it to you. So the thing you want to do is copy your Bitcoin wallet address. You just paste it in here and then get the maximum out of those tokens. I just claimed so it won't work for me, but you just go on this button here and try to get as many as you can and then click on send Testnet Bitcoins. Another option which I use more often is, for example, the Botanics faucet. I talked about this in yesterday's video. So what you want to do here is just click on get your funds. Then it says requesting your funds. And here it says I only can request funds once every 48 hours. But in your case, you just have to paste in your EVM address. So your MetaMask wallet address and then your funds should arrive within the next five minutes. What you then want to do, we want to bridge those funds over from the Botanics testnet over to the Bitcoin testnet you can do that by using the official Botanics bridge. So you just choose withdraw up here, then you make sure it's Botanics to Bitcoin testnet and then you choose the amount, for example, 0 0.001. You paste in your Bitcoin wallet address again. So open up your Uniset wallet, copy this address and paste it in here. Once this is done, you can just click on withdraw, sign the transaction and the Bitcoins will be sent over to Bitcoin testnet. And the third option, which in my opinion is currently the best one, Satoshi VM. Yeah, there's currently a lot of fun around it, but this doesn't matter for this guy. We just want to get some testnet Bitcoin from here and bridge it over to the Bitcoin testnet. So if you did my Satoshi VM guide, you should have some funds over here. You just come over to BTC Bridge after you connected your MetaMask address. Then you choose withdraw from Satoshi VM to Bitcoin testnet and you just bridge those funds over. You click on withdraw, confirm the transaction, and that's already it. So after we got some Bitcoin testnet tokens, we can do those tasks on here. First thing you obviously want to do is connecting your wallet. In this case, you have to connect your MetaMask and your Uniset wallet because we need both of them. So for example, just click on Uniset wallet, sign a transaction, and then we are already locked in. Then it says wallet connected successfully, and we can start doing those social tasks here. In your case, those are not checked. So you first have to authorize your Discord, your Telegram, your Twitter account, verify those. And the next thing you want to do to get additional points is deposit BTC from the Bitcoin testnet over to B2 testnet. Therefore, you also just click on this button here, which will pop up, which will lead you over to the official bridge. And now after claiming all these Bitcoin testnet tokens, you should have some funds available over here. So you just type it in here, for example, 0.0001. And then you click on deposit funds, you sign the transaction, and that's also already it. You can come back to the tasks page, 
and click on this button and after a few minutes you should be able to verify it and that's already it on here if you have some friends you can of course send your link over to them but i want to show you additional stuff for a future video because most likely once we need to bridge over our bitcoin from the b2 testnet to the bitcoin testnet we need this additional network and that's why we already want to add this network to our metamask you can Find this network in their docs. I will, of course, also provide it down in the description box. These are all the details. What you want to do here is open your MetaMask, add a new network, and paste in all the data like I did, for example, here. And once you did that, we are already done. Last thing you might want to do is come back over to the task board, click on your wallet address down here, and click on B2 Testnet Faucet, which will lead you over to this page. And there again, you can claim some testnet token, which we will most likely need later on once we interact on their testnet in upcoming videos. So you just paste in your Bitcoin address or your EVM address, both work. You just click on claim and those should also be sent over to you pretty quick. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below this video. You can, of course, also join our community Telegram group, a lot of farmers over there which might help you immediately if you have some questions. If you like this guide, I would appreciate if you hit the like button. And if you don't want to miss future videos, which I release on a daily basis on here, feel also free to subscribe and then we will meet in the next one. See you then.